All right, so in this example, I just want to do uh, another, another problem of writing some compound inequalities. And again, all compound inequality typically means is you have multiple inequalities. We just want to write it in interval notation. So again, when I think about or, um, I'm going to use everything that I shade. So, okay, so it says x has to be less than 5. So I'm going to put an open circle there because we don't use it. But everything less than 5 would be, well, everything to the left all the way out to negative infinity. The other inequality says x has to be greater than 5, but again, not including 5. So that would give me everything to the, to the right of 5, with uh, again, all the way out to infinity. So if I want to describe every, you know, everything I have shaded using interval notation, it says we'll go from negative infinity up to, but not including, 5. And we can use this interval. Sometimes people will write the word or. Sometimes you'll see people write this symbol, this union. So it says we can go from negative infinity to 5. That takes care of everything on the left. Or it says we can kind of skip over 5. So again, I'm going to put parentheses to indicate that we don't use it. All the way up to infinity. So when we write this interval notation, it's really just a fancy way of saying use every, every single number works except for the number 5.